Make sure to be a member on the channel, link is in the description. Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, a very quick one today, uh, but to show a little bit on how it will work, the custom loadouts. They are coming, maybe tomorrow, probably, I don't know, uh, but uh, for some aircraft that are, are added and uh, that was added in the last patch, uh, make sure to sub uh, to check videos on that. I'm going to make a lot of videos on the custom loadout, but just for you guys to have a, a kind of a look on how it will work, basically. So uh, the way it works, you will have to choose uh, individ individually uh, the, the what the pylon of the individual pylon of the aircraft that you're flying will take. So the aircraft that will have that is the A10A early, the late, uh, the MiG-23 MLA, the Su-22 UMK, UM3K, the J-8B, the F-104S ASA, uh, the Mirage F-1, and the Kafir C-2, at least for now. Uh, these are in the files. Uh, this spreadsheet was made by uh, Zabi 99 So yeah, cheers for that guy. And yeah, basically you will have um, the various, let's uh, grab a, a simple aircraft here, for example, the MiG-23. You will have uh, for example, the max loadout, uh, the the max load uh, weight that you can actually take in the loadout, and basically the max imbalance that you can take from the right load or and the left load, because you cannot take like a, a 500 kilo bombs uh, on the outmost uh, right side, uh, but on the left don't take anything because the aircraft would be kind of unflyable in real life, uh, so it has this limitation, so always think about that. But basically you will have a button to choose, uh, for example the MiG-23 only has four pylons and this is the, the cannon. Uh, and then you can choose uh, with these limitations of weight and max uh, weight uh, for imbalance, what each pylon will take. So for example, I want to take um, the two middle ones will be ground attacking, for example, and I can take the bombs and then we'll choose uh, the four, uh, 100 kilos for, uh, uh, for a lot of uh, light targets, for example, and then one of the 250s to a bigger target that I want to face, and then um, uh, maybe I can take uh, the for example, let's think the maybe the R60, uh, two R60s on the wings, or I don't know. I want to take rockets and or different rockets. For example, I can take the S24 here and maybe the S5 in here. So yeah, I can do whatever I want with these weight limitations, which is like it is in real life. So it's pretty cool. And uh, there are some other little things like the KH23M, for example, which is a radio guided uh, Sacros missile, you know, air to ground missile, you have to take the Delta NG air to ground pod uh, to actually guide the missile. So if, if you want to take this, you have to take that. But together with the these two things, these three things, you can take, for example, two R60s and you can protect yourself. Uh, if it is in the limitation zone of the target of the of the aircraft that you're flying, you can take it. So this is probably the most amazing feature ever. And yeah. So another thing that you can do is for example, a thing that I'm waiting a long time to actually do, which is actually using uh, the MiG-23 with its uh, proper loadout of one R24 and one uh, R, I mean, and one R24T. You can actually use that right now on the MLA. But the MLD could also use this, and I don't know if it's going to be added, this feature for the MLD for now, but uh, it's still is one of the best features for me, use this type of um, unbalanced loadouts, you know, so you can have the best combat capabilities. Uh, another example that you can see, for example, let's see the A-10. Uh, the A-10, uh, which is, you have the early variant, but the, let's talk about the late variant. Uh, as you see, max loadout, uh, max left load, right load, and max imbalance. So always have to check that. I don't know how it will be implemented uh, in game, but tomorrow we will see. It's just to to have a look on how it will it will work. So for example, you can take uh, in the pylon three and eight. For example, I want to take one Mark 82, uh, but in the pylon four, I can take three. For example. 
so that you don't have the max loadout. Uh, it's a thing that I always complain about the A7s, for example, that you always take the minimal loads or the maximum load. You cannot take the something in between so that you can actually, you know, just destroy one base and go uh, uh, air to air, you know, uh, or something like that. You can have multiple things that you can do with this and I find it amazing. Uh, you can take the AGMs together with the the bombs and together with some rockets or I don't know, I don't want the AGM in here and I don't need four A9Ls for example, I can take another bomb so I can do whatever you want with the loadouts. It's just such an amazing feature. Uh, the J8 is an interesting one that I saw that you can actually take uh, for now, I don't know if it's going to be added like this, but you can take six PL5s or uh, two, uh, four PL5s and two Aspides, which would be the best loadout for this aircraft, uh, which is one of the best aircraft of the patch. Uh, and the F104, uh, for example, you can take ground options together with the, the missiles and stuff. Uh, the Mirages, of course, can do that as well. You can take the Raider Super 530Fs together with the Magic Shoes and then uh, a 530E in the middle or a Mike 84 to, to help destroy a base or anything that you want, man. I think it's just amazing, amazing. This is, together with the Raider feature that I already did a video on it, uh, this is probably the best feature of the patch and it took a while for them to actually implement this. Uh, but apparently, uh, don't take my word for it, uh, but apparently it's supposed to be released tomorrow. Uh, at least people are talking about it, okay? So uh, once it's added, I'm going to make a, a lot of videos on it, a lot on the uh, new aircraft and stuff. So make sure to sub and make sure to be a member if you want to help the channel. And make sure to click the little icon, the bell icon to, to see all the videos that I'm going to post. And just to show a little bit on the Sukhoi 22. Very cool. You can take the missiles together with, for example, take the KH-29Ls together with the MLs and two uh, six R-60s, for example. That would be amazing as a ground attack option. Or bombs. You can take more bombs than you already take. You can take the eight bombs that the other Su-22 use. You know, uh, for, I mean, you can do it like this. You can take, uh, let's see, for example. I mean, you can take the eight bombs, the eight Fab 500s, together with two R60s, or you can take six of them plus the missiles, and or the the six R60s. So yeah, the possibilities are infinite, and I cannot wait until we have another patch to actually uh, get this in the older aircraft that we already have in game, especially the MLD, the F4s. The F4s would be amazing. Uh, and another aircraft like the, for example, the F4K that uh, if you want, you cannot take just the missiles and bombs. You have to take a cannon, even though you don't want to use the cannon, you have to take both. So yeah, stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I make sure to sub, as I said before. And I see you guys tomorrow on another video. Uh, bye guys.